Hi Scorpio, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Today is your July 2016 month ahead reading. If you'd like a private reading with me Scorpio, please go to the details below. should be going across the screen right now. And you can follow me on Facebook or join me as a friend, it's up to you. So, let's get into your uh, reading Scorpio for the month of July. These readings will be a little bit shorter because I'm trying to make sure everything gets up on the channel by July 1st. Uh, very interesting reading, Scorpio, and this is for Sun, Moon and Rising signs. Your advice card is Judgment. Right. Judgment is a card of release. It's blatantly telling you that you have a wake-up call coming to you, I feel, in the month of July. Uh, it's not only about rebirth, releasing ourselves from past uh, situations, releasing ourselves from the dormancy, from things that have held us back. You know, when you do tarot, it's really good to look at the deeper meaning of the card. So Judgment card isn't just about release, you know, as in uh, something new. It's a movement card. Every, you know, I always say that if somebody asks me if they're going to be moving home, I need to see movement cards. I need to see judgment. I need to see wheel of fortune. I need to see death. I need to see tower. I need to see cards that shake things up because it means that things are finally starting to move. And by God, things are starting to move for you guys in the month of uh, July 2016. Judgment for me means in its deepest form, uh, a lot of the time, Scorpio, that, you know, Scorp judgment is about being risen from the dead okay so as i always say there is a book in the bible called revelation it's the last book in the bible of the new testament and in the book of revelation it talks about judgment day when as i, I was brought up a christian so we believe that christ will come back again second coming of christ and all the dead in christ will arise by the sound of a trumpet okay so it's by um a signal uh, a calling and when you get judgment, it's your calling. It's what you're being woken up to. This can be something that happens. It's like the tower, the ace of wands, all of those cards that signify some massive epiphany moment that you have. It can also mean that you get uh, some form of communication that comes through, especially if you get it with something like the ace of, uh, the ace of wands, which can mean a message from heaven or a message from God or a message from spirit. Uh, but it is definitely a message card and however this takes form for you I feel that the advice card is saying Scorpio that in the month of uh, July 2016 it's going to be a real wake up call for you in that month in which I feel like an, an, like any other month I'm so glad this card came out for you as the advice because it's like wake up and you are going to have a massive wake up call in one way or another Okay, this is the card of rebirth and the advice for the month is, you know, you need to kind of do away with the old and really, you know, we're in the sixth month, we're six months into the year now, you know, we're at, everyone's a year older and sometimes there are situations in life that can hold you back, Scorpio, and if you continue to let them hold you back, you don't make any progress. So the advice is saying strongly to you, and I do feel that you need it looking at this spread here today, the advice here is wake up smell the roses and start afresh because the judgment card is about starting afresh as well these people have been dead a long time and sometimes in everyday life we can be dead as individuals you know we can uh, live our lives in terms of consistently living in the past consistently living in the past i've done it myself where i've just let past events consistently consistently affect me and i've never you know, I've, before I started doing tarot, I was consistently repeating the same old patterns. And it took a certain wake-up call for me to realise that things have to change in my life to a big, big, big extent. And I feel that this is what the Judgment Cards is saying for you guys in, in July. Things have to change. They have to. And they will change. Because Judgment is your advice card for what's happening. This is what you've got to do. This is what you've got to do. Okay, so if you have been going through a time of living in the past, Scorpio, judgment says it's time now to arise because there's a wake-up call coming to you in July in which you're going to have to face up to your demons. Judgment isn't all about, I'm living a certain way now and suddenly, whoop, light bulb goes on and everything's going to be better. That's not the way it works. Life simply isn't like that. But if you can take account of, your past mistakes, 
if you can look at things in the past and say, okay, those no longer serve me, I'm turning over a new leaf now, that's half of the battle won. So this is a time of rebirth in the month of July 2016. It's a time of accountability, because I believe that the judgment card is accountability as well. This is definitely, for me, based on the book of Revelation, when I look at this card. Because the book of Revelation talks about when we are called from our graves, second coming of Christ, even if you aren't a Christian, just follow the story. It says that everybody will be accountable for their sins, what they've done in the past, and they'll be ordered to kind of, you know, apologise for that and make amends for that. So this is about making amends for the past, turning over a new leaf, starting afresh, moving forward. It's a movement card. It's another one of those cyclical cards where there are cycles of change coming to you. This is brilliant. Your general energy is showing us the Six of Swords and the King of Cups. So your general energy through the month, and this is why I say with the Judgment card, it's not about wham, bam, that's it. It's all done and dusted. I knew. I'm saved. I'm fine. It's not about that. It's a journey. Everything within the tarot is a journey. Everything. Everything. No matter what card it is, some things have immediacy. But even after that immediacy, you've still got that journey that happens after. I could come up with a, you know, a page of wands and a page of pentacles and an ace of pentacles. Yeah, I'm going to get a new job. But what happens after I get the job? I still have to follow through on that. So the tarot for me isn't about start and end. It's the start, the middle, and then the end. And it's the middle bit that really counts. And it's the middle bit that counts for you. But you're on a journey here, I feel, in July, of self-discovery. Six of Swords shows up. First card for your general energy. What is the Six of Swords? Well, some people will say you'll be able to move on immediately. No, I don't believe that with this Six of Swords card. I really, really, really don't believe it at all. I just don't. Okay? And... You know, I do feel an opportunity is offered to you here. That Six of Swords can be about travel. We do have a King of Cups showing up next as your other general energy card. And the King of Cups can mean travel as well. Travel via sea, travel over water. Some of you guys might be offered an opportunity that might make you feel kind of fearful. There might be something to do. I get a feeling there's something to do with being overseas for some of you guys. But in terms of an energy card... For both cards. Six of Swords, as I've said, I don't believe that is a card that is purely based on I'm overcoming stuff or I've overcome it. For me, it's not a card that you've overcome anything. It's a card that you're trying to overcome. Because this guy, look at where his head is facing. His head is facing away from the swords. Because he's trying to avoid them. He's trying to avoid the blockages. Now, the swords, remember, swords are thoughts, ideas and struggles. So he's trying to avert his gaze from the struggles from his thoughts. He's looking towards a clearer path, but the swords are still there. The swords are still there. And until those swords are out of the boat, nothing is truly gone and nothing is truly averted. To me, the Six of Swords is about trying to move forward. If it's not about traveling, it's about trying to move forward. Because for me, the swords are still in the boat. And if it was as simple as I'm moving forward straight off the bat with the Six of Swords, then why is he not facing the swords? Why is his head faced away from the swords? Why is he ignoring that the swords are in the boat? Okay? The problems are still there. Whatever they are. The issues are still there. That's your swords. They're the struggle card. They're the struggle. That's what swords mean. The truth is still there. The fogginess is still there. But the brilliant thing with the Six of Swords is you do your best with this card. You do your best. And I, that's what I love about the Six of Swords. It means moving on in terms of an energy card. It means moving on. But it also means that you're acknowledging that there are still things that need to be clarified and there are still things that need to be worked out. And that's why I feel that we've got you guys sitting here. King of Cups. King of Cups is us. It's Scorpio. That's what King of Cups represents. King of Cups, Queen of Cups <clears throat> represents usually a Scorpio individual. Now with the King of Cups, as I've always said, the King of Cups is at the height of his awareness. He's 
the card about I understand how to work with my emotions. I understand how to deal with difficult situations. I understand how to put a brave face on stuff. That's what your King of Cups does, because he's a king. And kings are at the top of the tower, especially the pip cards. They are at the top. They are the completion, the finalisation, the answer, the decision in the tarot when it comes to your pick cards, okay? Whilst queens go inward to sort through the problem, they pass the problem once it is sorted through to the king and the king moves forward with it. So the kings are the action takers. The kings demonstrate how we deal, I feel, outwardly in the world with a situation. I see you guys moving towards your own self-awareness, towards an understanding of who you are within the month of July, Scorpio, 2016, okay? The issues are still there. We can see that the sea is still rocky underneath the King of Cups. We can see that the swords are still in the boat with the Six of Swords. But the fact is, I see many of you really, really trying, really trying. And this is why the advice is judgment. Deal with your demons, okay? Now is the time for absolute change. Now is the time to arise from the dead. The dead state in the judgment card for me means that we don't deal. We don't deal with the issues. We suppress everything. We put everything underneath the carpet and we don't deal with it. The people here are the problem. They're the things that we are repressing. When the trumpet sounds, the people represent us, I feel. They represent all our emotions, all our issues all our tenderness, all our concerns, all our sadness. And for me, the trumpet that sounds, that brings all of these things to the fore, it makes us deal with it. Because it realised that rebirth is needed. Rebirth and change is needed. And I feel that this is what these cards are saying. There is a wake-up call coming to you, and this is why we have the general energy as this, that you are gently and very steadily working towards your own self-awareness. If the Six of Swords is moving, we put the word towards in. King of Cups, self-awareness, emotional stability, and I feel that you are working towards, moving towards, self you know your own stability emotional stability the first cards to show are the ace of pentacles and the tower now what do these cards have in common for me as a reader well the ace of pentacles means realization it can mean some good news is coming in financially as well it can mean a gift it can mean that you're receiving cash can't even mean that you're paying it out, but I feel for you guys, you're receiving a gift. Whether that's spiritual or financial, you're receiving a gift. It will be a revelation to you because we have the Tower card that shows next. The Tower is brilliant, and as I always say, these cards are so multifaceted. They don't all rely on one meaning, meaning they can't. It's not possible. It's just not possible. You know? Usually financial news is Page of Pentacles. The me financial gift is Ace of Pentacles. This can also, though, be a new realisation, a new beginning. It can be a home move. So perhaps for some of you guys, there's something to do with a move happening here. And that's why we've got judgement. The ending of one cycle, beginning of another. Plus the travel card. Perhaps you guys are making a very, very big move. Could be overseas, potentially. I've known the King of Cups to mean a move overseas as well, funnily enough. Ace of Pentacles can be a new home, a new beginning somewhere else. And the Tower card can mean a move as well. So for some of you guys, it might be a home move that's coming up for you in the July period. But for some of you guys, it can be a realisation opens up to you. Because the Ace of Pentacles means fresh eyes, a fresh take, a fresh look, a fresh feeling, a fresh realisation on a situation. And so does the Tower. The Tower is the epiphany moment. When everything that you've kept held back suddenly comes out and suddenly there's a realisation with this card. It's a big, big, big realisation that comes to you. Possibly move. 
This can also be that money comes in that you weren't expecting because if the Ace of Pentacles is finances, receiving money, the Tower card means unexpected. And usually the Tower card is unexpected because what happens is sometimes things build up and they build up and they build up. And if we don't deal with it, the universe will deal with it. And that's when you have your Tower moment. Either comes through your own self-realisation or an external event. I feel that for some of you guys it will be something to do with finances that are unexpected, potentially. But I feel that if we were to look at this as a storyboard, uh, this is where something opens up to you. Maybe an opportunity with that Ace of Pentacles. okay? And maybe this opportunity brings a very, very big shift. Because the Tower card also means a big shift that occurs in your life. Big shift, by the way, not the other word. A very big move in your life, a big shift, and it requires you to deal with that. Because I feel that some of you won't be dealing with it very well, because we have the Four of Pentacles here, and the Six of Cups. Now, with the Four of Pentacles, often this is a card about, yes, stability, we're stable where we are, we feel secure. And this is why it can be seen as the card of being afraid to move out of one's comfort zone. Because one doesn't want to move from what they know. But also remember it's a pentacle. So this person holds on to these finances for dear life because he's afraid of losing them. So there's a certain type of possessiveness with this card. The Six of Cups means several things. It means to be sentimental. It means to be sentimental about the past. Rose-tinted glasses. Looking back to the past. It means new relationships. It means kindness, it means support, it means all sorts of things. But if I were to look at this as a combination, I would feel that there was a certain possessiveness about the past. Or there is a certain holding on to the past. Because if the Four of Pentacles is possessiveness holding on, and Six of, Com uh, Six of Cups is the past, then it could be holding on to the past. Sometimes you could be holding on to physical things, or keeping hold of physical things. Four of Pentacles often reminds me of a home. So for some of you guys, it could be that a new opportunity comes in. This will require a major shift in your life. But you may want to hold on to what you have for sentimental reasons. Because you want to hold on to the past. So there is a reluctance to move out of something that you are used to. Something that you feel comfortable with. It could be a, as simple as a pattern of behaviour that you're afraid to face up to or own up to. Whatever the case may be, pattern of behaviour, home move, new job, whatever the case might be, I feel for some of you Scorpios, you're going to be afraid to move out of it because you're holding on to something because it, it's familiar to you, okay, and you've gotten used to it. The Four of Pentacles also talks about selfishness and being too consumed with what one has in order to give up oneself or open oneself up to anything else. And this is something to do with the past. Or to what you're used to. Six of Cups. But I do feel that the cards are really giving you a very, very strong message this month, Scorpio. I really do for July. Because we've got the Three of Wands. Three of Wands is a card of progress. It's a card of having an outlook. It's a card about expansion, broadening your horizons, looking into the future. Waiting for your ships to come in. It's a really successful card, especially if you get it in the outcome of a reading. It means that things are heading in the right direction. And you can expect things to move in a really good way. You're making progress when this card is in the outcome. But also it's a card of waiting. I feel there's something for some of you guys you can't let go of in the month of July. Because we've got that Four of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. I feel that something new comes in for you. The Ace of Pentacles always represents a gift or it's a fresh new start. It can be with a home move, for example, moving location, that type of thing. The ace is the beginnings. It's the start of something new that's opening up. And we can see that this will be a major shift for you, a major change with the uh, tower card. It might be something that you're not expecting. So therefore, you might be resistant because you want to stay where you are. You want to stay in the past. You want to stay with what is. You might want to hold on to what you have right now because you have very fond memories of it and it's difficult to let it go. But your progress is very much halted because it seems here with the Five of Cups 
showing next door to it. Now the Five of Cups, I can't really explain that in any other way but to say it's a loss card, loss of joy and happiness. Now if I were to have the Five of Cups and then the Three of Wands, I would say this person had their back turned to the Five of Cups, so therefore they're making progress after loss or after sadness. They're actually moving out of it. But we had the Five of Cups after the Three of Wands. So therefore we can see that you are looking outward but there is something that stands in your way with this Five of Cups, something you can't let go of. It's like you're beholden to the past or your progress is stunted by this loss or fear of loss. Because for some reason you only see the cup as half full, half empty rather than half full, which means that you don't see the true potential of what's going on behind you. And I feel that this reading came as a really strong warning that you know, there's no point in holding on to things that are old and no use and not re and they don't really serve a purpose, especially if they're not helping you to move forward, Scorpio. Your final card shows the hanged man and the Queen of Wands. And I was so happy when those two cards came out together, especially when we had the hanged man just before that Queen of Wands. The hanged man can mean that there is a pause or there is a restriction, but the Queen of Wands releases the energy. Because whilst one card says I'm stuck in a certain place while I'm trying to figure something out or there's a state of suspension going on here, because the Queen of Wands is such a busy, fiery, motivated, proactive character, it means that you move out of this pretty quickly. Okay? Out of it pretty quickly, I would say. So I would say that it is through your taking a different look at this situation in July, Scorpio, that helps you to be confident and proactive and to make the decision to move forward with this Queen of Wands energy. I don't feel that this is a person. I feel that this is literally your energy, especially if you're an Aries rising, perhaps, or even an Aries moon. But I do feel that this will, this is a situation here where it's either to do with moving Something new comes in. There's a new opportunity that shows itself here. It doesn't have to be off the bat financial because I feel that if it was the, you know if it's a lottery win or something, you'd be like fuck off. Yeah, I think I'll move to wherever, you know. But that's not the case here at all. There is something new that comes in. There's a new potential or a new realization that opens up to you with this Ace of Pentacles. It will require you to accept that there will be a major shift that comes in with that Tower card. You may be afraid because of your own security. You might be holding on because you have very uh, strong feelings or very sentimental feelings for what you have now. There might be a difficulty, I feel, in releasing something in terms of where you are now because the Four of Pentacles is uh, uh, holding on and the uh, Six of Cups is the past. So it could be holding on to the past. Okay, for some of you guys, you might be holding on to a past relationship. Okay, because the Four of Pentacles, remember, holding on, resistance to change. And the Six of Cups can be a past relationship. So there might be something that you're holding on to in terms of a past relationship here. And maybe this is stunting your growth or stunting your progress with that Three of Wands looking outward. But still, the past is very much a part of where you are at the moment. However, for me, with the hanged man, it says, if you adjust the way that you think and see things, you can make really positive changes with that Queen of Wands. And this is why we see judgment. Because judgment says, come out of that comfort zone. You've been dead for a long time. You have been emotionally, I feel for a lot of you guys, you may have been emotionally in the, in the others for a very, very long time. And the judgment card is saying, no, there is wake-up call coming. And I feel that this wake-up call comes with these two cards especially, that Ace of Pentacles and the Tower. Because these are the cards, to me, that are bringing in something new in the month of July for you. It is all the other energies, that Four of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Three of Wands, and the Five of Cups, that you are afraid of leaving behind. And if you look at the Three of Wands and the Five of Cups, it could be leaving because often the three of wands is a travel card and this can instigate moving or going to another location traveling 
the past behind. Five of Cups. So there is a fear here, I feel, to leave something behind with that Three of Wands and the Five of Cups together. And that's why you hold on to it so fervently with that Four of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. But the universe is telling you to look at this with the hand man in a different way. Turn your head upside down. Don't look at things in just one way. There are all sorts of angles to look at this situation because it will benefit you in the end. And from that, it will allow you to move forward, it will allow you to be far more proactive, far more decisive as an individual. It's a brilliant reading, Scorpio. And this reading is all about moving forward. Moving forward. It might be difficult. It might be difficult in the month of July because there is something coming in. This Ace of Pentacles and the Tower, it blows the roof of something. This is either your own epiphany or it's literally, for me, something is offered and it's a major change with the Tower card. It's something you probably didn't expect. But it will require you... You know, Scorpios don't often like change. We like things to be set in a certain way and yet the funny thing is is we're always changing we are representative of the death card which is you know the phoenix rising from the ashes we're always going into metamorphosis we're always transforming as individuals always how many times have i been the phoenix rising from the ashes and yet change is something very scary to me at the same time we need to be more like the death card the more like that more Phoenix that rises from the ashes, but not because we're forced into it, but because it's something that we just do. So when we see an opportunity, we go for it, no matter how scared we are, to let go of something in the past. It's a very interesting reading, but judgment is your advice card, and it's saying change is coming. There is rebirth coming. You're going to receive some form, I believe, of a call, contact, and it's going to give you a real wake-up call. It's going to probably give you a second chance. There's a fresh start here for you. But you have to feel, face the fear and feel, face the fear and do it anyway. And that's your reading for the month of uh, July 2016. I'm going to pull a quick angel card for you. This is an amazing deck. It's called The Angel Answers, Doreen Virtue, Radley Valentine. And this is the bomb. It will always, always give you the correct answers that you seek. I'm just going to ask the angels for their advice on this reading for Scorpio for the month of uh, July 2016. Universe Spirit, what advice, angels, please, do you have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs for the month of July 2016? What advice do you have for Scorpio, please, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs for the month of July 2016? What is the advice, angels, please, for my viewers on YouTube? What advice do you have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs? Please give me the advice that you have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. What is the advice that you have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs? Here we go. <laughs> Just toppled off. You're ready. It says you're ready, Scorpio. You are ready. Let me read what this card says. All your past experiences have led to this moment. You've studied and grown spiritually in many ways. There is nothing more to do. You're ready to move forward and to embrace the person you know in your heart you are meant to be. The world is anxiously awaiting the contributions that following your life purpose will provide. You may have to put yourself first in this situation. It's time to do what is right for you. There you go. You've heard it from the angels. You're ready. You're ready. So no more procrastinating. If this responds to you, if this, you know, uh, if this, uh, if you feel that you can affiliate yourself with this reading, that you can kind of really understand it, if this resonates with you, Scorpio, then this card is saying you're ready. You are ready to move forward. Even if you think you're not and you don't, some of you guys may not think that you're not ready because you're afraid to let go of something from the past here. But there's an opportunity that comes to you here. Whether that's internally or externally, you have an opportunity for growth. And the universe is saying to take it because you are actually more ready than you think. That's your reading. I'll be back with your live spread for the next six months very, very shortly. And I'll speak to you soon, Scorpio. Take care.